Welcome to Yoga by Zach. As you can tell today, I have a chair. We're going to do chair yoga. It was by request. Um, it's going to be really gentle. It's for people that maybe your mobility isn't as great as um, it could be. Maybe you have a, a goal to get somewhere with that. Uh, or if you're like me and you're just lazy and don't want to do a lot of work, that's okay too. Uh, today I have a yoga strap that I'm going to use. If you don't have a yoga strap, you can use a belt or a towel, um, a ribbon, you know, anything that can be used as a small strap to help you reach your foot. I also have a block that you don't have to use a block if you don't want to. You could use a book or um, uh, the frying pan. I've seen somebody use a frying pan once just for the extra little reach there. Um, so anything that you have available that can be used just to stabilize your body. Um, and you don't have to use one at all. I like to use one because I can't do full postures and talk at the same time. So have that available. With your chair, make sure your chair is always, you want two of the feet always on that mat because it will slide and slip. So make sure you always have at least two of the feet on the mat at all times. So let's get started. Feet flat on the floor. Find the length of your spine, big tall spine. Lock your chin. Inhale all the way to your hips. Exhale. Release that breath all the way up the spine, out the top of the head. Find your center point. Become present for the moment. Making an intention to be here and now. Releasing any stress and tension that you may be holding on to. Letting go of any thoughts that take you away from your practice. Big inhale, slowly open your eyes. Good. Let's start from the top of our head and we'll work, we will work our way down our bodies. Let's start with a neck circle. Let's point our nose to the wall in front of us and with our nose we'll draw a circle on the wall. Inhale on the left, exhale on the right. Your circle can be big or little, you decide. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale left, let's meet at the top. Exhale. Let's switch the direction. Inhale to the left. Exhale to your right. Inhale on the left. Exhale to the right. One more 
inhale to the left. Exhale to the right. And come to your center. Let's take this left hand, inhale it up. Exhale, gently place it on the right side of the head. Exhale, gentle neck stretch here. You're not pushing with this hand, it just acts as a little weight to give you a little extra, little extra something there. If you want a little more, take that hand and you can hold onto the chair below you or keep it on your knee right there. Inhale through the side of the neck. Exhale. At capacity, you can look down or look up and see how that changes the stretch for you. Listening to your body, doing what your body needs. You decide what's best for you. Let's take that left hand and use it to push your head back up. Good. Take a moment and check in with yourself. See how one side of your neck may feel different from the other side. And be aware of that. Listen to your body. Be aware of what's going on. Let's take this right hand. Inhale it up. Cross it to that left ear. Exhale. Gentle stretch here. Again, if you'd like a little bit more of a stretch, you can take this left hand down to the side. Hold on to that side of the chair. You can leave it right there on your knee. Inhale to this open side of the neck. Big inhale, feel an expansion. Maybe looking up or looking down to see how that changes for you and adjusting to your body's needs. Let's release that right arm and use it to push our necks back up. Good. Let's check, check back in with ourselves. Take a deep breath. Awesome. Move down to the shoulders. Inhale your shoulders down and forward. Exhale, let your shoulders melt down your back body. Inhale forward, exhale, open your heart, let your shoulders melt. Two more. Inhale front, exhale to the back. Last one. Inhale front, exhale down the back body. Good. Keep your heart open for a moment. And relax. Good. Let's move into our arms, into our elbows and our wrists. Let's take our hands right out in front of us, palms facing forward. And all we're going to do right now, take the left hand down, the right hand up, and just gently start to paddle both your hands. Work those wrists. As you're working your wrist, really feel your forearms move because that, that wrist motion comes from right in here. So really feel that muscle, feel, feel that little kind of working, muscles working there. Good. Now let's do some nice little just gentle circles to the inside. Switch directions, we'll go to the outside. Notice as I'm doing this, I'm maintaining my posture, my straight spine. Good. 
my feet are flat on the floor. Let's move to our fingers. Start with your index finger. We're going to inhale and slowly curl each one of our fingers till we make a fist with our thumb on the outside. Exhale, release. Inhale, curl those fingers in. Exhale, release. One more. Inhale, those fingers in. Curl, curl, curl. Make a fist, gentle squeeze. Exhale, release. Beautiful. Let's take both of our hands. Inhale up. Exhale, release, turn those palms to the sky. Inhale through the length of your body all the way down to the hips. Exhale out those palms. I tell you to reach for the stars, but you already are one. Exhale, let's release our hands. Take a moment, let those hands dangle down to your sides. You can really use any kind of chair to do this with. I just have this card table folding chair. You can use a kitchen chair, a, a, you know, any real basic, an office chair, one that has um, armrests on it. Usually don't work the best because the armrests kind of get in the way. But if you have some little bit more limited mobility, those armrests being right up next to you can sometimes be, be helpful. So, you know, be, be flexible. Be flexible with your, your options there. Good. All right. Now, I'm going to turn my chair to the side so you can see our waist motions here. But you feel free to stay right where you're at. I just want you to have a better visual. Feet are flat on the floor. I've got that straight spine. A cat-cow motion from a chair. We're going to inhale our tummies forward. Notice I'm leaning with my heart, but I'm expanding my tummy. Exhale. I'm going to arch my spine like a Halloween cat. Inhale, let your heart shine forward, expand your tummy. Exhale, Halloween cat, arch that spine. Notice when I moved my chair, I kept those legs on the mat so they, they're stable. Inhale forward. Exhale to the spine. Inhale forward. Exhale to the spine. Notice that I'm in the middle edge of my chair, so that I'm not going to use that back. I want to have that full range of motion that's possible with my spine. Inhale to the front. Let's hold our inhale just for a second. Exhale to the spine. When we get there, let's hold that exhale. Find that hollowness through the body. Inhale to the center. Good. Let's go through a Ganesha Mudra from a chair. And you remember a Ganesha Mudra is an elephant on a chain. And so we're just going to try, like an elephant, we're trying to release our bodies from a chain. So wiggle and move and groove your spine any direction that you need to go. Maybe do some barrel rolls. Just wiggle yourself. Loosen any tension going on. Shimmy and shake it. Good. 
Good. Now, since my chair is already here, I can face you guys. I'm going to come to the side of my chair, just like this with the back of it on my side. Now, this chair, I've got this little bar thing here, so I've got to kind of move out of that way. So my bottom's a little bit off of this chair, but I'm still stable enough that I can sit evenly on my sits bones. So if you have that issue, maybe grabbing a different kind of chair, um, a kitchen table chair is usually go straight down there. Um, so look at your options and make sure that you're even on your body here. My feet are still flat on the floor, even though my feet are on the mat, my chair is, my chair is stable. Find that length of your spine. Big inhale all the way to the hips. Exhale, I'm going to turn my body to the back of this chair. I'm going to grab it. Use my exhale to twist my body. I'm not pulling with my hands. I'm using my breath to facilitate the, facilitate the twist. This way I'm not pushing my body in ways that it shouldn't be going. I'm just letting my natural, my natural twist happen with the breath. Exhale. And I'm holding onto this chair for some stability. Leave your hands where they are, but let's inhale our bodies, come back to the center. Try to even out your shoulders so that you're aligned straight, straight forward. Let's take, on my side, I've got my left hand. Inhale that left arm up. Notice my right hand is still in the back of this chair for the stability. Exhale, take just a gentle side bend here. You're gonna breathe through this open side of the body. Exhale through this, this closed hip down here on the right side. Just a gentle half moon here, gentle side bend. Inhale. Inhale your arm up, exhale, let's release and come back down to our center. Now we have to do the other side. Since you guys at home already know what's going to happen, um, you can just turn around in your chair, but I only have one camera and I want you to be able to see me, so I'm going to move my chair to the other, other side. And if you still want to see me at home, you go ahead and move your chair too, but make sure those legs are on the mat. I'm going to find my center point here so that I'm even on my sits bones and that I'm stable on the chair so that I don't fall off. My feet are flat on the floor. I have a long spine. I'm going to lock my chin into my spine so that I have alignment through the top of my head. Inhale, deep inhale all the way to the hips. Exhale, I'm going to twist my body and I'm going to use this chair for the stability. Exhale, I'm using my exhale to facilitate my twist. And I'm breathing into my hips, I'm exhaling, I'm feeling the spiral through my spine. I'm exhaling that breath all the way out the top of my head.
Inhale your body. I'm gonna leave my hands where they are, but I'm gonna inhale my body to the front. I'm gonna make sure that my shoulders are as lined as I can get them to the front. I'm gonna leave this left hand here. I'm gonna inhale my right hand up. Exhale, let me take a just gentle side stretch here, side fold. I'm gonna inhale through this open right side of my body, exhaling into this left hip. Really using that exhale to facilitate my little half moon shape here. Let's inhale our bodies up. Exhale, let's come back down to our center. Take a moment, take a few breaths. And let's turn back to the front of our chairs. Now again, I only have one camera and I don't need to see me, so I'm gonna move my chair back around. And notice this time, I've moved my chair farther back, but I still have those two, two legs of it on that mat because I want the stability. I don't want that chair to come out from under me. I keep my feet flat on the floor. Let's take our hands and put them to our hips. Let's start with our going towards the left side. You're gonna inhale on your left. We're gonna do some nice little hip circles here. Exhale on the right. Inhale on the left. Exhale on your right. And I need to move my feet out a little bit. I feel myself kind of tipping over there. So I need a little bit more center balance. Exhale to the right. Inhale and left. Exhale to the right. As I'm doing this, I'm not lifting up my sits bones. I'm staying sit sitting flat on my chair. I'm just moving my hips, moving my waist. Again, you can make this a big circle or a little circle, medium circle. You decide. You can make it an interpretive circle. Sometimes I feel like mine, mine are more square than they are circle. Let's come to the center. Big inhale. Switch directions, going towards the right side, exhale. Inhale to the left. Exhale to the right. Let's do one more. We'll come back to the center. Inhale on your left. Exhale to the right. And I'll come back to my center. Notice as I did those, I'm still just in the middle to the front half of my chair because I don't want that back um, seat back to bother my movement. 
Maintain that tall spine. Notice we've worked the entire upper half of our body now, and we've actually never left the chair. Um, and we never had to stand up or do anything too strenuous there. Um, I did have to move my chair around, but if you're at home, you notice that we never had to move. We've already worked the entire upper half of our body. So let's move on down to our, we're gonna stay in the hips just for a moment. We're gonna inhale our arms up. Exhale, we're gonna take just a nice little forward fold here. We can take the hands down to the side. You can take them onto your uh, thighs here if you need that little extra support there. Or if you want, you can come all the way down to the center. If you want to come down a little bit more, but you need a little extra support for that, you can use that block like this. And remember that block has three different levels. This one right here is at a six inch, there's a four inch, and I think this side is a three inch for this block. So you have different levels that you can work with there. Just make sure when you, you inhale up, exhale into your forward fold. Notice for this one, I'm not gonna release my neck into the earth because I wanna maintain that spine, that alignment through my hips, through my spine. So I need to keep my head, the top of my head going forward with my spine. And breathing into the hips. Exhaling through my spine out the top of my head. Notice I'm not dropping my shoulders down either. I'm maintaining that, that alignment through my body. Inhale your body up. Exhale, take a moment. Good. Now with this block here, I'm gonna move my level, mine to a different level. With this block, let's inhale our right hand up. Exhale, let's take that hand down to that block. Now we're gonna to move to our left hand. Big inhale. Exhale, we're gonna let it reach to the sky. Now here, you can look straight up to that hand. Notice I'm not trying to go too far back. I'm wanting to go just straight up out of the shoulder. If you can't go that far, maybe yours is over here. That's okay too. You do what your body allows you to. You can look up here. If you have high blood pressure, you'll want to look down to the earth. Or you can stay just looking straight ahead too. That's your drishti, that's your gazing point where your eyes look. Big inhale to the hips. Exhale. And I'm exhaling through this hand. I really want to feel that extension with my exhale. I'm maintaining my sits bones even on the chair. And if you don't want to use your block, you could even do it just like this. Take that right hand to the knee. Something a little more gentle there. Or you can come all the way down to the floor that way. Notice I still use my breath. I can't talk like that. <laughs> Notice I still use my breath, the exhale to facilitate the twist. And I'm gonna release that left hand, exhale. I'm gonna reposition my block. I'm gonna place my left hand on it now. Big inhale. I'm gonna exhale my right hand to the sky, to my body's ability. Again, maintaining that alignment. I don't want to overextend behind me. You can come down a little bit lower if that's where your body allows you. 
Otherwise, I want this arm to come straight out of that shoulder. Looking up, straight or down if you have high blood pressure. Big inhale to those hips. This would be a variation on uh, Parsvakonasana, a revolved lunging type pose. You can even do the, say this is a revolved triangle, although that's not exactly how you do it with a chair. Close enough. Exhale, release that right hand down. I'm going to bring both my arms together. I'm aligning my shoulders. I'm going to exhale my body forward. Allow myself that gentle forward fold. I'm breathing down to my hips. I'm feeling my back body expanding like a big balloon. Feeling the left and right sides, the top and bottom. So I've got four different regions of my, my back body. I'm inhaling through my spine, really expanding my body. Exhaling, deflating like a balloon, but feeling that breath through the length of the spine. Let's take both of our hands. Let's inhale our bodies up. Exhale, release. Inhale up. Exhale, release. One more. Let's inhale our bodies up. Exhale, release. Good. Now I'm going to grab that belt, or this is a yoga strap, but you can use a belt, a ribbon, a scarf, um, anything that gives you a little bit extra extension there. I'm going to take my, let's start with our right foot. This is yoga, we usually start with the right side. So I'm going to take my strap into my foot and I'm going to extend my leg out. Just a gentle stretch here. And go as far as your body. See, my leg, my, let me keep my hips in alignment. My knees, I'm not able to go to a full extension there. So I'm gonna put a little bend in my knee and that's okay, I'm listening to my body and I want you to listen to yours too. Go at your level here. Notice I'm maintaining my tall spine. I'm even on my sits bones and I'm inhaling to my hips. Exhale. With my exhale, I'm finding a little more extension here with my foot, with my leg. So I'm using my breath to facilitate my posture. If you can reach your toes in this position, by all means do it. I'm not able to though. That's not where my body lets me go. I'm okay with that. I wonder if you guys can hear my neighbors running around out there. Exhale, I'm going to release this foot. I'm going to take a moment and check in with my body. I'm going to notice how this leg may feel a little bit different from this leg now. <laughs> And I'm going to be aware, I just got a text message. I hope you all heard that. <laughs> I'm 
I'm going to be aware of my body from my left side to my right side. And I'm going to switch directions here. I'm going to take my left foot into this yoga strap, make sure I'm even on my sits bones, and I'm going to exhale my leg out. And I automatically notice with this one, I'm able to get a little bit more extension here. I don't have to keep that extreme bend in my knee. So I've noticed a little bit different from my left side to my right side. I'm going to be aware of that. I noticed with this one, I think I may need a little bit more length, so I'm going to give myself an expansion. I think I can get my leg out there a little farther on this side. Notice I'm maintaining a strong posture. I'm even on my sits bones. I've got a tall, long spine. Inhale to your hips. Exhale, feel that extension. If this is not available for you because you may not have a strap or a belt or whatever at home, you can extend that leg straight out, coming to the edge of the chair, straight out, and you can just melt your heart over that leg. Maybe try to pull those toes into your body. And that gives you kind of the same stretch, a little bit gentler, and that way you can do this if you don't have the props at home. Here, when I exhale, I'm letting my heart melt forward. I'm going to keep this foot flat on the ground. I did have to move it out because I needed a little more balance. So make sure you're comfortable with it. Inhale, let's come up into our center position. Good. I'm going to reposition myself on my chair. Let's take our right foot, cross it over that left leg. Now maybe this is as far as you go, and that's perfectly fine. We want to feel a little stretch through the piriformis muscle in the side of the hip. That connects your body, your back half to your front half right in. Maybe this is as far as you go, and that's okay. Big inhale to that hip. Exhale, gentle. On your next exhale, maybe start to lean forward a little bit. Let your heart melt forward. Feel that stretch through the hip. Breathing, going just to the level that your body allows you to. Notice I'm holding on to my shin bone here. I'm not holding on to my knee joint or my ankle joint because I don't want too much pressure on those. I just want to be gentle here. And if you'd like to, you can let your hands dangle to the side. I think that's a little, I feel too loose doing that. So I like to have a little more stability in my body. Inhale your body up. Good. And while we're here, let's go ahead and interlace our fingers to our toes. If that's not available for you, you can just grab your toes that way. That's fine too. But since we're here, we may as well kill two birds with one stone. Let's do some nice little ankle rolls here. Just some gentle circles. Make sure the motion is coming from your arm. You're moving your foot. Your foot's not moving you. That way you get that full rotation, the full extension of the ankle. Just gentle, slow, smooth circles. And 
the other direction. And don't forget your toes. Let's wiggle those toes front and back, side to side. We put our feet through a lot every day. We stand on them, we walk on them, we put them in casts that are shoes or casts. We don't allow them to be free as they need to be, our little piglets. We don't want them to run away. I mean, you know. We need to take better care of our feet. Exhale, let's take that foot to the earth. Reposition so that you're even on your sits bones. Let's pull that left leg over the right. And again, maybe this is as far as you go, that's okay. Let's take a moment here to breathe. Let's take a moment here and smile to ourselves. Smile to our heart. Smile with our heart. On your next exhale, maybe gently moving forward. Feeling a gentle forward fold here. Feeling that gentle pull through the piriformis muscle. Going to your body's level. What does your body allow you to do and maintaining that? Again, my hands are just on my shin bone. I don't want them on the knee joint or the ankle joint. That allows too much pressure and you can injure yourself that way. And you can always let your hands dangle to your side, but I need a little more control with what I'm doing. If you have the capacity to do that, by all means. Inhale into your hips, feel that back body expanding. Exhale, allowing your body to fold forward, using that breath to facilitate the posture. Good, and let's inhale our bodies up. Exhale, take a moment. Good. And again, while we're here, let's go ahead and lace our fingers to those toes. Again, if that's not available for you, you can just grab your toes on the outside, that's fine too. I'm going to interlace my fingers. Make sure all my little piglets are there. Nobody ran off to the market yet. Let's take some nice little ankle circles here. Make sure that my arm is moving my ankle. I'm not using my ankle to move my arm. I want that full extension, the full rotation through the ankle. Switch directions. And let's move to those toes, wiggle those toes. Make sure all those little piggies are alive, doing well. Let's release that leg to the earth. Again, let's come to our center. Good. With our feet now, 
A uh, variation on a Baddha Konasana is our butterfly posture. I'm going to move the soles of my feet together just like this. If you need a little bit extra height there, you could use a blanket or a pillow under you or even that block. That gives me a little more height that way, um, so it's a little bit gentler on my body. I'm going to inhale into my hips. I'm going to take a moment here, I'm going to ease into my posture. On your next exhale, maybe taking a gentle forward fold here. Notice how that changes the stretch for you. And I'm going to move a little bit so that I'm more even on my, my sits bones. And again, I'm just resting my hands here. I'm not putting any pressure on the on my legs because that's going to uh, put too much strain on my knee joint. So I'm just resting here. I'm not I'm not bearing any weight. I don't want anyone to get confused, so I'm just going to let my arms dangle. I'm breathing into my hips. I'm breathing into my hamstrings. Exhaling through the length of my spine. I may even be able to, and if it's available to you, come down to those feet. Again, I'm not putting any weight down here. I'm just doing my stretch there. Just a gentle, a gentle passive stretch. Maintaining a long spine, a long straight spine. I'm going to inhale my body up. I'll show you one more variation of a body kanasana. I'm going to straighten out my legs. If you want to bring your legs out just a little bit wider to the width of your chair this way, hold your stretch like that. Kind of challenge yourself with the width of that, that those ankles. And then you can exhale and bring your body forward. Notice I'm holding onto the front of my chair for my stability. Exhale. Feel a little stretch there. Notice how this may be a little bit different from the one we just did with the soles of our feet together. Notice, is it the same? Is it different? If you want, if your chair has better legs than this one, you can exhale your arms down to those legs and hold onto the legs of that chair. Come out to the front this way, up on your block, whatever is available for you. For me, I think right here is good. so that I'm still even on my sits bones. I'm going to pull my feet right out in front of me. My hands are just going to gently place onto the thighs. From here, when we move into a Shavasana, at the end of our practice with a chair, if you need to put a block or a blanket and, or a bolster or something behind you, a pillow, so that you can still maintain your tall spine that way, because what I don't want is you like this. We do this all day long. It's horrible for our bodies, uh, so we want to maintain a tall spine. Just a gentle, that makes it a little bit gentler to have a pillow or a block back there. I'm going to make myself comfortable here. I'm going to close my eyes. Just be relaxed. 
If relaxing for you means taking your arms down to the side and just letting them dangle, that's okay as long as you maintain your, your just gentle passive alignment. Big inhale. Exhale. Big inhale. Passive exhale. One more. Exhale. Find your breath, find your peace. Allow your muscle memory to absorb all the wonderful good things that you've done for it with your chair yoga practice today. Your muscles will remember what you've done, so the next time you practice will be a little bit easier, even more enjoyable, more beneficial for you. If you'd like to stay in your Shavasana, do so at your practice, you decide. When you're ready, start to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. And wiggle your shoulders a little bit, bring a little life into your body. And let's open our eyes slowly. Let's inhale our arms up, thanking ourselves for taking the time to be here, to be present in our moment, to take care of our mind and our body. Exhale, smile with your eyes, smile with your mouth, smile with your heart. Thank you. So everyone, this was a little bit longer practice than I expected it to be. This was just a gentle chair practice. This was not even touching half of the postures that you can do with a chair from home. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you practice it over and over and over again. Um, you can do this from the office, from the airport, anywhere that you are. Even if you're not doing the full sequence, do what's available for you. Enjoy it, and I'll see you on Tuesday. Thanks.